Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hello? <laughs> Is this, this thing, thing on? on? Can you hear me? me? <laughs> what, what, how, how do I see, see, how do I I see, see anything? anything? I think, I think it's, it's fine, right? Hi! Hi! Can, can you hear me? Can you see me? See me? I don't know I don't what, what is going, going on. on. We're going to figure, figure this, this out. out. There's an echo. Is there still an echo? Is it good now? Um, wait. Wait. Okay. Is it good? Tell me if it's good. Give me Give a thumbs, thumbs up, up for good. good. The echo. The echo. Still, Still an echo. echo. Can you, Can you guys, guys hear, me hear me now? now? So we're going to figure, figure this out. This out. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Hello? I feel like they can't hear me now. Yes? This is good. Still echo. <laughs> Sorry right, guys, give it, this is the first time. Give me like five minutes and then we're gonna we're gonna be good. It's good. This is good? It's gone. It's good. Yes. Good. They're saying it's good. You sure? Okay. Good. Yeah, we had other mics connecting. Um wait. It's fixed. It's good. It's good. Okay. All right. Hi. This is a little bit, you know, scary. I'm excited though. I'm gonna try to read this chat. I'm gonna try to do this properly. You guys can all hear me, everyone's good, right? <clears throat> can you, okay, wait, I wanna test something. Can you hear me now? This okay, is, so that's why I mute it. <laughs> this is your okay. I muted the others, which is okay. Nice. Okay. Okay. Thank you. This is fun. This is going to be like how to watch someone Twitch stream for the first time. Um, okay, we're going to get into this in about one minute. I just have to Let's do a little... get this figured out. I know you go home to another one. Yeah. Okay. I think this is working. Um, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna s try to read some of the chat and talk to you guys. I don't even know how long I'm gonna be on here for. Maybe an hour, maybe two. You're working. Everything's working. Amazing. Can I design you some Twitch graphics? Absolutely. That would be amazing. Yes, please. I don't really know what the um, which graphics are. I see people. That's I like that one. Someone's spinning around. Okay, you can slow it on the chat. I figured that out. Now I'm scrolling through it and I'm reading it. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Or no, I'm supposed to actually click slow mode. Um Okay, wait, now I I'm scrolling and it just will not stop scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. Where are your earrings from? Everyone always asks me where my hoops are from. And my hoops are just from Amazon. They're not anything fancy at all. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm going to put my phone down. I'm going to give you my undivided attention. I'm just making sure everything is working. Your PC looks so nice. Thank you. I This is a very new world to me. I hope that you guys on Twitch can help me out and let me know what to do, what not to do. Um, sorry, wait one second, I'm just trying to look at something. Ah, ah, what do I do? Okay. Also, is there an easy way to like read questions and stuff? I don't, I don't really know. I don't even, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't, oh, okay, 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 yes, I see it. I got it, I got it, I got it, okay. I'm just gonna let the chat go. I'm just gonna let it go. 
Are you going to game on here? Um, okay, so my gaming life. I have, n have not played a lot, but I would like to. And I would love to maybe, you know, maybe you guys could recommend someone on Twitch for me to go live with one day and they could teach me how to play something. I've played um, Call of Duty Zombies. Forgive me if I'm saying this like completely wrong. Play Valorant. One of my best friends plays Valorant and is very good. Or so I've been told. I'm down. Yeah, but let me know if there's people that you guys would maybe like to see me stream with. But I'm not good at video games and I get fucking scared. Yes, yeah, zombies. Okay, that's right. Yeah, I, I played that before and I really, really liked it. I've never played Fortnite because I feel I feel like Fortnite is a lot of brain power. Um, also, this keyboard. Are there any other girls out there who have? Who it's impossible to use this keyboard. It's impossible for me to use this keyboard. Um, I don't know if anyone has tips for me, but it's literally impossible. I can't type anything. <sighs> okay, this is working properly, right? I think it is. Yeah. Okay. Great. Awesome. Um. Okay. I'm reading. Where's Presley? Presley's right there. Would you like to see Presley? He is the, I just have to say, like, he truly is the cutest dog I've ever seen. No one will ever be Bowie. I just have to say that. But he's the cutest dog ever. Working. Great. That's not right, is it? What? There's 10,000 people watching? No, there isn't. Mm -hmm. What? Sorry, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't know there was ten thousand people watching. I saw at the top of my screen it says five eighty. I thought there was five hundred people watching. Nine thousand. My bad. 9, I thought. I thought there was five hundred people watching. Oh, <laughs> hi. Okay, would you like to see my dog? And we'll talk about my dog. And we want to see your water bottle. Okay, let's start with the water bottle because it's right here. This is my infamous water bottle that I use every single night, every single day. It's the best. Um, it has all these little stickers on it. Look how amazing this camera is. It, it goes in and out of focus. There are my little stickers. That's my favorite one, of course. Very on brand for me. Cute. I love this water bottle. It stays cold for days it looks so heavy it's it's not too heavy also I got this with the what's the brand um <laughs> I covered the brand that's what this is I'm pretty sure I don't know the brand but it was literally from Amazon I don't know it's not expensive at all um but I got this in the hopes that it would help me drink more water because that's I think why everyone gets these water bottles it's like oh it's gonna help me drink more water but I still. Um, okay. Presley, you would like to see Presley now. We're going to talk about my dogs and all of that stuff. Presley, he's sleeping right there. So I don't want to disturb him too much. But we're going to. We're gonna bring him in. Give him, give me a couple minutes because he's gonna like get up and he's gonna start, um, he's gonna start moving. Your camera is so good. It's it's Logitech. It is a, it is a good camera. Play a game. I don't I don't really know. Dang, I don't really know what um game to play. I again am open to. Can I play Fall Guys on here? 
I've never played Fall Guys on anything. Please don't judge me, by the way. All of the people who are watching this who game in a serious way are going to be like, girl, shut the fuck up. But I have only ever played Fall Guys on a Nintendo Switch. And I know that people play it on the keyboard. I don't know how to use the keyboard, though. It's really difficult for me. And I even got my nails shorter than I usually do because I figured it would help and it didn't help. You're so real for that, I don't care. Thank you, thank you. It's just true, I I know people, like I also have only ever played Call of Duty on an Xbox, which I feel like is criminal to a lot of you watching, so I'm sorry if I'm like screwing myself over within the first 10 minutes of meeting a lot of you. Um, okay, quickly, before anything else, I know maybe not everyone in here wants to hear me gush about my new song, but I have to just shout out my new song. It's called Home to Another One. I'm very proud of it. Do you guys want me to, like, do you have any questions about the song, the music video, anything? I cannot play games at all on a keyboard, don't worry. I, I just, I tried to type even the title of this stream and it took me minutes to do so. And I'm a fast typer, so yeah. Are you going to be releasing an acoustic version? That's a good question, and I might have shot it yesterday. We'll see. Um, okay, this is going quick, but I'm going to pause it. How do I pause it? There we go. I'm pausing it, and I'm reading it. Okay. Are music videos expensive? Music videos are so expensive. It's quite crazy. Um, that's really what like my record label supports. They, they help fund my music videos, which is amazing. Um, but I have, I have a curse on me that I only want to do really extravagant, wild things. So I just, yeah, it's a lot. It is a lot. Do you like directing your music videos? I love directing my music videos. I have been directing them, co-directing them for the last four years, I want to say. And it's been such an important part of my process because growing up, I always would literally race home so I could go on iMovie and just make whatever the fuck it was like a music video remake or a stop motion video like I was just really yeah I don't know I was just really um big on iMovie and so that pipeline from iMovie to directing my own music videos is very real and I I love I love doing it it's it's one of my favorite parts of the gig it's it's really cool are we going to get a world tour for the next album you know it it wouldn't be an album without a tour. Okay. Um, guys, I've had... Great. I've had... This is just... need. I need to share this with you for some reason. I've had a cut in my nose for like two weeks. And it hurts so bad. And I don't know how it got there. It hurts so much. Just sharing that felt like telling telling all of you all 10,000 of you about my cut in my nose um okay I want to I want to read these comments ah that's the worst feeling and a pimple on your lip line that is so true like a pimple right here like a blackhead Oof. that hurts do you have a vision for outfits for this next tour okay no and it's very very stressful and I'm thinking about it because I love my outfit so much in my last tour so for me it's I don't know yeah um happy pride month happy pride month okay I want to answer questions not it doesn't have to just be about my music don't feel like you have to Oh, Bianca's pinning questions. Okay, hi, Bianca. Um, what inspired you the most about the music video? I really wanted to do something, obviously, with some sort of space alien theme to it, for whatever reason. And I just landed on this. I was inspired by a lot of things. Star Trek, um, Severance for some of the set design. Vivarium, I think, is also incredible set design. There was a lot of things that really went into this. I reference an outfit from Barbarella that... I referenced almost exactly. Um, yeah, there's there's so many things that I pulled from that music video. So if you guys haven't seen it, you should check it out. 
I feel like I'm gonna end like accidentally break this stream by trying to read things. Do you play Mario Kart? Yes. Yes. What inspired the album name? The album name is Silence Between Songs, for those of you who don't know. And it will be out September 15th. Um, and what originally inspired, inspired it was I am someone who I've always felt like most of my inspiration and most of my growth has stemmed from, you know, the times where I've been on tour or making an album or busy. And then I kind of had, you know, some really pivotal times when I was off of tour and when I was alone and when I was able to be self-reflective and those were the times that I feel like I've really gotten to know myself in the most honest way the most and to me that was represented in the silence between songs so that's how I got to that name and yeah I I really love it I f it feels really special to me um what's your favorite tattoo of yours should I give you guys like a mini tattoo tour but I'm not showing you my feet because <laughs> about 10 of them are on my feet so I'm just gonna tell you about them and I'm not I will not be holding my feet up for this <laughs> fucking twitch stream um, okay, so I'll give you a little tattoo tour, but no feet. The viewers just like plummet. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you about this one. This is my bow. This was just, I, I really wanted, um, a bow tattooed, especially after my tour. I had bows in my hair every single night. You could tell that I'm a bit obsessed with the bows. Um, so I got that and it was pretty much my way of getting a life support, um, tour tattoo. That's my little bow. And people think it's a spider or a butterfly, and that offends me because it doesn't look like either to me. This one says love bug, and it's what my mommy calls me. She calls me LB, which is short for love bug, and she's been calling me that forever and ever. Mom, if you're watching, shout out to you. I have my tattoo from Dear Society still on my middle finger, and actually, cool story, people don't always know about this. Why the fuck would people know about this? So my birthday is March 5th, which is 3-5. And my brother Ryder's birthday is May 3rd, which is 5-3. So it's always been a weird, cool thing that we've had where we have 3-5 and 5-3. So that's where these numbers originally came from, which people actually don't. Some people don't know that. They're like, where, what is 3-5, 5-3? That's where it is. And I've, I've had this redone once before, but it stayed really well. This one has stayed so well. And this is like seven years, six years old. It says eventually, it's a Tame and Paula song, and it's dark as ever and is not going anywhere. Um, where else do I have tattoos? I have one here. It says honey. Um, don't, it's stupid. Let's not talk about it. I have this one that says baby. Can you even see it? I can't see. It says baby on the side of my neck. The back of my neck says life support, I think. <laughs> I don't see back there often. Um, yeah, it says life support on the back of my neck. And let's go to my feet mentally. We're going to go there. I'm going to try to remember everything that I have, actually, without looking. Um, okay. I have... I don't know. Um, what, what do I have? I know that I have Marla Singer's phone number from Fight Club. I have Nidosphere, which is where Marceline is from in Adventure Time. I have a Rick and Morty tattoo. I have C-137. I have a door with a ball being thrown out of it, which is from The Prestige. I have an I Love New York tattoo, because that's where I'm from. I have a banana on the bottom of my foot. I have my friend's initials on the other bottom of my foot. And uh, what else do I, I got? Oh, my, honestly, one of my, show your feet, it's not happening. One of my favorite tattoos that I have is um, from The Truman Show. And I know that I have, I'm so, like, cheesy and I have a million, like, movies and TV shows, but they, that's my personality. Um, I have, my stomach, I have a Truman Show tattoo, and it's the pin that his love interest is wearing on her sweater when she's trying to give him hints that he's in, in a TV show. And it says, how's it going to end? And I love that. And I actually once wrote a song called How's It Going to End? And it didn't make it, it didn't make it on the, the album. Okay. Updated makeup, makeup tutorial. I might come on here 
this weekend if you guys enjoy this if this ends up not being like a huge failure I might come on here this weekend at some point and do my makeup would you guys like that and just do a makeup tutorial for you I could do that for you if that's what you want okay everyone is saying yes okay sure <laughs> great um did you have a different name for the album before silence between songs i actually did um it was called well it was never called anything different but we auditioned some other things that i don't i'm not gonna don't try to trick me into telling you things about the album that you don't know you're trying to trick me um i'll tell you one day are you gonna get a Rick and Morty tattoo? I already have one. I have one that says C137, which is like the dimension, I guess, that they're from. Um, is Cherry's on the album? Stop talking about my unreleased music, please. I'm begging you. <laughs> Did you take anything home after the shoot? I didn't need to. I was covered in blue paint for like a week after the shoot, so I didn't really need to take anything else. Okay. Okay, wait, I am trying to, um, oh my goodness, um, BP2743, thank you for what you wrote about my memoir, that's incredibly kind and so sweet, I just read the whole thing, thank you literally so much. Um, can you talk about your, if you hear my stomach, I'm so sorry, I'm hungry. Can you talk about your part in the production for this album, I just want to know specifics, of course, so I do have co-production credit on the whole album which is so cool and I'm just really lucky to work with my producer who wants to give me that and you know there's a lot of producers out there who wouldn't even if you do co-produce it and you give you know equally as much notes and whatever it is um then sorry I'm this is also going to be a, a learning thing for me of not reading the chat while I'm answering a question because I can't finish an answer when I'm talking um, what was I even fucking talking about? Oh, Leroy. So yeah, he's just incredible and he's been so supportive of me and he's always wanted me to have that credit and I feel like he's wanted it to push me even more. So yeah. Do I like Marvel? Come on. That's my one of my next tattoos is literally the awesome mix cassette tape. I'm, yes. I'm actually, I have to admit, and I've said this already on a couple podcasts and stuff, so I don't mind outing myself. Um, I'm a new Marvel fan. I was actually kind of a Marvel hater. Don't kill me. I was a Marvel hater for some time because I was just like, I don't get it. I like didn't, I don't know. I was just like, I don't get it. And I don't really think it's amazing, but I hadn't watched it. So I was a hater for no reason. And I don't think that that's fair. And then I just dove head first and um, now I'm obsessed with it and I, don't stop talking about it um so yeah it's definitely i'm a huge fan now i was screaming crying like being a little too loud at guardians 3. i watched guardians 3 about a week after it came out i wanted to see it the night of but i was in las vegas for my brother's 21st birthday i was being so obnoxious and inappropriate <laughs> i was just screaming i was screaming also, on the topic of Guardians 3, my dog looks like Rocket. He really does. But yeah, I am I am a fan, and I literally, I can't even talk about it. <clears throat> Such a sad movie. I know. I know. It was emotionally damaging, and I, like, I was not expecting it at all. What did someone say about Bo Burnham? Hold on. Pause. Pause. Every, everyone stop. World stop. Favorite Bo Burnham song from inside, Brooke? You're asking me the questions that I want to read. Um, How the World Works was the first song that I memorized, and I kind of did that to be an asshole and try to impress people and be like, this came out five days ago and I know every single word, um, which I did. And I think that one is lyrically crazy. Um, I don't know. I can't really pick pick a favorite. I love all of them. I think that that funny feeling is the most amazing one, like sonically. But 
the chicken might just be my favorite. Okay, I'm not. I'm gonna end up talking about this for an hour. Okay, okay, wait. I'm, how do I pause the chat again? Um, also, guys, I just want to let everybody know MadisonBrew.com, right? MadisonBrew.com. I have uh, live. I have vinyls and CDs for my album that are signed and they're for sale. And yeah, you can go there and and you buy them if you would like to. It's okay if you don't want to. Um, I'm standing in the rain. I, I wish I was with you. Uh, will we get a deluxe version of the album? I would like. I would like that. Yes. I don't know for sure, but I. I would. I would like that a lot. I think this album is gonna be good for that. Okay. You should join a Discord server. Your Discord. I have a Discord server. I didn't even know that. Um, okay. Do I do that now? I don't know. I don't know how to do that. Okay. I don't know what to do. Um, I also, guys, like, again, I'm new to this and I'm going to figure it all out. I don't know how to see who's subscribing, who's gifting. I don't know anything. So just thank you if you're just even watching this. This is really cool. And if you guys like this, I'll do more. And if you don't like it, I'll never, you'll never see me again. <laughs> um, you need to be an alien for at least one show. You never know what I'll pull out, man. We'll see. <clears throat> I also don't know how my, my, my voice sounds like I'm going through puberty. Um, some of these questions are interesting. Uh... I'm 24 years old, by the way. Spackle again? Yeah, so there's a BTS video for the music video that will be out um, hopefully next week, this week. It's, it's we're finishing, um, we're finishing editing it and then I'm gonna get it out for you because it's really funny. I think it's hysterical. Which one, which outfit was your favorite from the home to another one music video? I loved the polka dot outfit because I feel like it wasn't it wasn't like something that I've worn before and it was a little out of my comfort zone, so it was fun. Who's someone you would love to see live in concert? Okay, I'm gonna change this question slightly to someone I haven't seen that I want to see. Uh, you know, I'm not really great with like being on the spot. I would love to see Radiohead live in concert. That's my answer, locking that one in. Okay, the community shall guide you. Thank you, thank you. I feel like this is definitely like, the community does guide. Favorite Radiohead song? Don't do that to me. Um, that's, I can't answer that. I have a couple. Uh, nude, exit music for a film. Uh, mm. Don't do this right now, please. Oh my goodness. Sorry, <laughs> when people type in all caps and it goes like that, it... Sorry if I just also go silent for minutes at a time. I'm trying to uh, read the chat and respond to you lovely people who are watching this. Also, my hair is like this because my bangs would not cooperate with me. So this wasn't planned. But thank you for saying that you like it. What's your Starbucks order? This is an important one. Um, iced chai, vanilla latte, small. I'm not really the biggest like drinker, like in general. <laughs> I don't drink enough liquids, fun fact about me. So I anything bigger than that, it's just I never will finish it. So I'll get a small warmed coffee cake from Starbucks. Fucks. Uh, and I actually really like the spinach egg white thing. Some people think it's disgusting. I love it. I think it's delicious. <laughs> so yeah, that's my, that's my order. Or a nice matcha latte. But if I'm feeling like I want to go to Starbucks, I want to get a nice chai. 
I can like feel my stomach about to grumble just thinking about thinking about that. How do you feel about your unreleased music leaking online? This this is something important to know. I feel it's inevitable and I feel like I can't get mad at my fans who are excited and want to hear my stuff. So I don't I don't care necessarily. I do care. Let me take that back. I do care. Um, and I get actually really upset when it happens, especially if it's a song that I was going to release because sometimes, how does it even get leaked? You're asking me? I have no fucking idea. Um, but it sucks when I want to release a song that then gets leaked and I can't change things and I can't edit it and people have heard this bad version and I just, I don't know, I just don't, I don't really like that. I think that that's a bummer for sure. So yeah, I don't, I don't like it when music leaks. I don't like when anything leaks. It's, it's frustrating. I've had photo shoots leaked. I've had music leaked. I've had it all. I've had it all. And I was going to say a joke and I don't feel like I should, but those of you who know, already know. <laughs> I'm just such a dark individual. Um, comfort song. Uh, Another Day by Paul McCartney. <laughs> that my ass up. Yeah, I know. Walked right into that one. Walked right into that one. Uh, you need a new password. I know it's not. It's not that. These people just gonna get into it. It's. It's really. No, you're not a dark individual. I just make jokes at my expense. It's fine. It's fine. What's your setup going to be like on tour? Um, that is another question that I don't know the answer to. So I, I'll, I'll, I'll be back and return with an answer to that. Guys, what do you, what do you want me to? What do you guys want me to talk about? What do you want me to do? Are you bored? Um, hold on one second though. There's Presley. Should I grab Presley? Presley! Um. Presley! Sorry, I also... <laughs> I also can't not talk to him in that voice, so ignore me while I'm speaking to him. Make this. Presley, come here. Come here. Yay. Oh, the baby. Oh, the baby. Oh, the baby. Oh, let me actually take your little collar off because it has... Okay. The baby. Firstly, the stream wants to say hi to you. Say hi. Say, I dipped my whole face in my water bowl today, so my face is wet. Doesn't he look like Rocket a little bit? How old is Presley? Um, this one's a the baby? Hi. Hi. Someone said, are you soggy bread? He is soggy bread. Do you want to lay up here with me, honey? I'll let you down if you don't want to. He's so cute. Any funny traits about Presley? Yes, he's... Oh, look, he just leans his head on the table. Um, he's literally just leaning his all his weight on the table like this. Soggy chicken. He is a soggy chicken. Um... Can you give a big yawn to the camera? Presley, can you see yourself, baby? Can you see yourself? Are you checking out mommy's setup? Um, he has really funny traits. So Presley will walk up to you no matter what you're doing, where you are, who you are, and just lay on you, like directly on top of you. He does not care about your personal space. He doesn't care about anything. Okay, you want to get down, baby? I feel like he wants to get down. Okay, I'm gonna put you down. Okay, if I can, if I can. Okay, wait, wait, wait. You wanna go down? You don't have to. Do you want to? Oh, wanna go down, baby? 
Wanna go down? No? Do you wanna stay up? Okay, I'm gonna let you down. Go. Okay, you're good. Ow, Presley! <laughs> just scratch me. Ow! You wanna just sit here? I gotta go do this, honey. There's people watching me, baby. There's people who are watching me. There's 14,000 people, it says, for me, watching me right now. And you're you're distracting. He's just... It's soggy beard, not soggy... Soggy beard, not soggy bread. <laughs> yeah, I can't read. Okay, honey, it's time to go down. Or come up. You pick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you down, though. I feel like you're, you're scared to go down. Okay, you're good. Good job. I don't know what he wants. If he wants to come back up, hit you, do you want up? Okay, moving on from Presley. No, he should stay. He, he seemed like he wanted to go down. But then he, now he's looking at me like, put me back up there. He'll, ju he'll jump up if he wants to. Uh, okay. What song got leaked that you wanted to release? There's a song, well, Silence, don't listen to it now, okay? <laughs> There's Silence Between Songs, a song that's on my album is leaked. Of course, everyone's going to go listen to it now. Um, but that's the title of my album. That's how also people know when I said SBS, people knew that. So that got leaked. A song called Barbie that, again, please don't go listen to these songs and I'm just, obviously you're going to. But how the fuck do songs leak? I don't know. That's my same question. Um... Do you watch any Twitch streamers? I do, actually. Yes, I do. Um, I don't know how they leak. People are smarter than me is how. Girl, we know Barbie. I know you do, okay? I know. Um... Guys, there were so many people typing leaked songs. Stop. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm I'm not. No more talking about my leaked songs. Let's move on to a different conversation. Um. Okay, okay, okay. I'm giving you my whole my undivided attention. One second. Don't leave. I took his collar off. It's fine. I'll put it back on. Okay. Who, what Twitch streamers do you watch? So here's the thing. I always get hesitant to talk about anyone ever because I don't know who's like, who people, like, I don't care. I, I don't also, when I say I watch people, I mean like I have, I don't watch anyone, you know, every single day. Uh, I think XQC is really funny. I love watching his streams. Um, when I first started using Twitch, are you a fan of Nirvana? Of course, absolutely. When XQC is in? What do you mean? What? He's in? What does that mean he's in? He's watching this? No, he isn't. What? No, he's not. That's a lie. Anyway. See, someone said, like, not, like, I don't know. I don't know. I just think XQC is funny. Um... I think that... Who else do I watch? <laughs> there's, there's, there's a lot of people that I've also just, like, stumbled upon that I think are really funny. Okay, no more talking about other people. I am getting afraid. Um... What's your cinnamon roll recipe? My cinnamon roll recipe is from TikTok. I didn't come up with it. I just follow it. So I can't, I can't give you anything. Um, how do you feel when people send you hate? I feel like this is a loaded question, obviously, that I can't really answer in simple terms, but... I 
I feel sad. I think that it's something that I will never say doesn't bother me. And I think there have been many people that I've come across in my 12 years of being on the internet who have said, you know, like, ignore it. And there's people who love you, so who cares? But I think it's easier said than done. And I think that psychologically anyone who, you know, sees a TikTok of themselves with hundreds of thousands of comments or likes and all that stuff, it's it's hard. I don't I don't know who wouldn't be bothered by it. And maybe there's people who are stronger than me, but I am not and it does bother me and I don't like feeling misunderstood. I don't like feeling falsely judged. I don't know. I think that those are also just human normal feelings and I try not to invalidate myself for feeling those things because I think for a long time people were like you know again you shouldn't let it phase you and there's people who love you and all that stuff and that's amazing but I'm merely human at the end of the day and I do I do unfortunately you know things do affect me so I think that people should be kinder to one another I know everyone thinks that the internet is just a place where you can you know, talk shit and no one cares, but people have feelings and there are human beings on the other side of your screen. And I know I'm probably just talking into like the void and people who are watching are like, shut up, but it's true. And as someone who has been online for super long and has been getting hate for an extremely long time, you don't get used to it and it sucks. And it's hard to want to be authentic and it's hard to want to do things like this to be honest with you a lot of people have always been like why haven't you done this until now and it's because it's scary I it's it is scary I feel like people are quick to judge quick to get angry quick to do it all so it can be really frightening um but I've I've also come to a place within myself that I do sorry people are probably like falling asleep um where where I do I know my heart and I'm not going to let anyone really take that away from me. And I think there are people out there who hopefully also do. And if you do, I love you. Um, Why did you name your dog Presley? So I named Presley Presley because of my angel dog Bowie, who for those of you who don't know, sadly passed away. Um, We got Presley as, you know, Bowie's brother and bestie. And he unfortunately got cancer and passed away when Presley was only like seven months old. Um, It's horrific and I can, you know, talk about it if you guys want or else I could also not. But yeah, so we wanted to name Presley something that was sort of in relation to Bowie, which obviously Bowie is named after David Bowie and Presley is named after Elvis Presley. So we thought that was cool. But yeah, it was really hard. If any of you have lost an animal, and specifically a dog, it's it's just horrific. It's my first time really losing a dog, especially my dog. And it's been horrific. It's been horrific. It's so hard. No matter how old the dog is and, you know, whatever, it's so hard. But Bowie was only two. So it's, it's truly can't even really talk about it um next dog should be mercury for freddy i literally thought of that but i just feel like mercury doesn't like roll off the tongue as well but i yes i do where in long island are you from i'm from jericho long island i miss long island shout out to anyone from new york watching this right now Um, I'm so sorry. I know you loved him so much. Thank you. Yeah, it was it was really absolutely terrible. Where's everyone from? Let me know in the chat. Spam chat where you're from. I am curious to know. Poland, Germany, Florida, Montreal, Virginia, Israel, Mexico. Poland, a lot of Poland. Uh, Turkey, Nashville, California. Germany, Long Island, Bay Area, Ventura, Glasgow, Michigan, Vancouver, Indonesia. Shout out Indonesia. You guys stream my music so much and it's crazy and I love you. Scotland. Oh my goodness. Ohio. (laughs) Someone said Ohio with like a bunch of dots. Ohio's great. Um, Cool. Thank you for telling me. 
That's very cool. Happy to happy to hear. Um trying to trying to read questions. I need to know your all-time favorite Tame Impala song. Well, I have eventually tattooed, so I feel like that has to be one of them that I mention. But I will say the first song that got me obsessed was, oof, how can I even, I don't know. I will say, like, I did admittedly become a Tame Impala fan when Currents came out. Um, but yeah, I think because I'm a man was the one that I was like, this is spectacular. I'm going to put a sweatshirt on. I'm a little bit cold. I don't want to miss anything. Grease. Wow. Wait, what's my opinion on what? Hold on. This is moving so quick. Borderline hooked me. Yeah, that's, I mean, also an incredible one. Favorite emojis. I use the white heart too often. Like, it's the only thing. Ah! It's the only thing that I, like, know how to use. It's, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna, I'm trying to read more questions. Oh my God, I keep seeing, what's your opinion on? And then it's gone. Okay, wait. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. I'm looking for you. Presley, hi, what's he doing? Don't bite the wire, please, Cookie. Please, no. Night, he's so cute. I can't handle that. <laughs> not the Cowboys. Listen, I don't care if you're a Cowboys fan or if you're not a Cowboys fan. I'm indifferent. I just think the hoodie's cute. <laughs> we love the Cowboys. Some of you might not. I don't. I don't. I don't. To be honest, I don't care. I don't, care. I don't know. I don't know anything. I just like the sweatshirt. Uh, okay. <laughs> Someone said, fuck the Cowboys in all caps. It's coming off. My bad. Ew, Cowboys. Why is everyone a Cowboy hater? Guys, it's really not about the team. It's just a nice, a, a sweet, a soft, <laughs> soft sweatshirt. Uh, anyways, enough talking about the sweatshirt. Favorite Daft Punk song. Have you heard the new Daft Punk song? Yes, you heard me right. The new Daft Punk song. Um, it's called Infinity, Infinity Repeating, and it's amazing. And I listen to it every day. Also, it's so funny because that you say that. The recent song on my... Like, this is my, like, playlist that I... Ugh, my phone is so dirty. My, this is, like, my recent... Hello? I know you could focus. Do it. Come on. Do I have to, like, do that? <laughs> okay, whatever. Um, I just re-added Harder, Better, Faster, Stronger to my... I just re-added that song. This... This is one of the best songs ever made and if you disagree you can argue with the wall i don't i don't care and i have to see this live somehow before i die i must and i will okay so we just listen to the song forever you I'm, i won't be able to turn it off once it starts just so you know imagine being in the room when this song was made like can you comprehend it? I can't. Same with Instant Crush, it's so good. There's like something in these songs. There's something injected into them that like I just... Don't get banned. Oh, is that a thing on Twitch? Can't play songs. <laughs> I 
Copyright pause. I pause it so fast. We could keep singing. Don't 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 don't. Okay, no more of that. Um, can I show you my playlist? I can read you my playlist because apparently I can't show it to you because every time I do that, it just doesn't want to focus. Uh, I can go down the list. Would you like me to? Uh, we can see it. You can. Okay. So what do I do? 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 Hello? Uh, names. Say the names. We can't see. Okay. What are those pants? They're not. It's a blanket. I just have sweatpants on. Okay. We have Harder, Better, Faster, Stronger, From Here to Eternity, Lighten Up. Do you want me to say who it's by as well? Let the Light In. Go All the Way by the Raspberries. Love all the songs you posted in your stories. Thank you. Thank you. That means a lot. That means a lot. Um, uh, Girls on Film by Duran Duran. Infinity, Infinity Repeating by Daft Punk. Okay, is this boring? Be honest with me. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna. No, you wanna hear this? Yes, see, people are saying yes. No? Okay, I'm gonna do like five more and then we're done. And then we're done, we're done, we're done. Feed the Fire by S.G. Lewis and Lucky Day. It's a really good song, a little bit boring. I, I agree a little, so I'm gonna say like two more and then I'll move on, I promise. Um, I Got a Name. I'm Okay, Please Let Me Wonder by the Beach Boys. Can't Nobody Love You by the Zombies. Okay, we're, we're finished, I think. We're done. When's the makeup routine coming? I will do it on my next Twitch stream, which maybe will be Saturday or something, if that works for everybody. Uh, who would you want to collab with? Literally anyone that I just said. I mean, what got you into the Beach Boys? Uh, sorry, I also just say like, uh, every time I answer a question. I, I love the Beach Boys so much what initially got me into the beach boys that's like a really difficult question i i don't know i don't know what originally got me into the beach boys lol madison on twitch here we are here we are will the venues be bigger on your next tour yes they will be which is really exciting It's not right, it's not you, it's not right, it's not how we used to do. What are you, what are you, what are you guys saying? How tall are you? How tall do you think I am? You know, this is a funny thing. People always get it wrong wrong no one's ever like a little bit close people also meet me and they're like you're so tall or they're like you're so tiny it's never it's never like there's it's always a big jump i'll tell you i'm seeing five four five three it's also google's not right so stop googling it five seven five nine five one five foot five foot eight five foot ten five foot seven okay enough 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 Drum roll, drum roll, please. No, don't do that. Um, I'm about five, seven, five, six and a half on the dot, which a lot of you guess. So that was anticlimactic, I know. Um, I'm like five, six and a half. And some people are shocked when they meet me because they, they're like, you are so tall. I always thought you were like five foot. I don't know why, but I'm taller in person, I guess. Some people also think that I'm shorter in person. I think it's a pretty like average height. I loved your call your dad call her daddy episode. Thank you. I appreciate that. That was intimidating for me to do. So thank you for saying that. Are you completely done with the album or are you still touching it up and adding to it? I'm completely done. It's 
turned in, it's finished, everything is done. Um, what are you the most grateful for? My health and yeah, my health is my answer currently. Will there be a deluxe on your album? I would like there to be. <laughs> this lady cusses like a sailor. I'm sorry. Am I offending you? Who is your favorite UFC fighter? I don't have a favorite UFC fighter. Should I have a favorite UFC fighter? It's not right. It's not true, it's not right, it's not how we used to do. Oh, Val, I don't, ugh, I'm gonna say her name wrong. Val, Val, Valkyrie Ray said, welcome to the streaming world. Thank you, beautiful, gorgeous angel. Nice to meet you. Very sweet of you to tweet to me. I'm looking, I'm looking to see it and making sure that my, my Twitter is working. Or not my Twitter, that the stream is all good. But that's so sweet. I'm sorry if I said your name wrong. Beautiful. Um, did you like seeing Blackpink at Coachella? Of course. I can show you videos of me like screaming at the top of my lungs. You said it right. Thank you. I tried. <laughs> Guys, please stop asking me about sports. I have no opinion. And I don't want to have one because it's just always so stressful. <clears throat> and people get so angry no matter what I say. <clears throat> How was Rosalia? Rosalia is the best performer I've ever seen in my life. One of. One of. It was... I was... I couldn't believe it. It was the most incredible show. Okay, it looks like everything is, is going good. From where did you get your water bottle? I... Also, yeah, everyone's saying I need more moderators. I don't know how to, guys, I don't, I, like, I don't know what I'm doing. So if you want to be a moderator, let me know. I don't know how to make you one, but I, yeah, let me know. I don't know. One thing you'll always bring with you places. Uh, that's a difficult one. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. My like lip liner, I guess. So that's super fucking boring, but it's the truth. Which I don't know where it is. I was gonna give you guys a little lip liner tutorial. I'll be a moderator. Everyone's like, I'll be a moderator. I don't know how to make you one, but. Do you plan on playing games down the line? Yes, so follow me here if you liked watching me. Well, I'm not done. I'm gonna probably be here for another hour at least. Um, if you liked watching me babble, feel free to follow me. And yeah, I'm going to probably learn how to game and I'm gonna, oh, did I just move my thing? Sorry, if I, <laughs> if I moved my screen, I didn't mean to. Um, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to learn how to play games for those of you who want me to play games. And you guys can let me know what games you'd like me to play. Can you sing as the world caves in? I love that song. We need daily streams. This is so interesting. Really? Do you know who Elliot Smith is? You would love him. Are you joking? Come on. Of course. I'm a big Elliot Smith fan. Horror games, please. Oh, so you want to see me like piss myself. That's what you want. I don't want to do that. I'm gonna. I'm. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I've seen all the videos of all the people in their rooms in the dark, and they scream at the top of their lungs, and it scares the shit out of them. I don't want to do it. And the fact that you want me to do it is fucked up. I'll do it. <laughs> I'll do it. 
You guys have to tell me which ones to do though. Like you have to, you have to let me know what horror. I don't know what. I don't even know which ones there are. And I'll have my headphones on, and I'll make it all dark, and then I'll have nightmares, and I will sue you all. Outlast. I mean, I don't know what any of these are, so I'm gonna have to look at it. Five Nights at Freddy's. I know what that is. The Last of Us. Oh. Yeah, I watched that show, and I know that it is a game. So I feel like, yeah, I could maybe I could do that. That didn't scare me too much. That, that's not, like, too horror scary for me. But jump scares and stuff are, are fucked. I don't want that. And you're all going to hear from my lawyer. But, yeah, let me know which ones you guys actually would want me to play. Because um, I'm down. I just... I make really funny focused faces like I, I'll, I'll look crazy so yeah and you'll enjoy you'll enjoy that as well um favorite joji song mm. well slow dancing in the dark like changed my life <laughs> but I think glimpse of us is like a perfect song Play GTA. I used to play GTA and I used to have codes on the Xbox memorized. I could make myself fly without having to look it up, which was like my big flex on all my guy friends. Dream blunt rotation. That's a really good question. Oh, should I answer that? I, I don't. So I don't. I also don't smoke weed anymore. I used to. And my brain is scary. Am I going to get banned for talking about this? Should I not talk about that? I don't know. I don't know the rules on Twitch. I don't know if I'm going to just suddenly be like booted off. Okay. I'm going to not say, I'm going to say, um, I used to, yeah. Okay. Don't talk about it. No. Am I going to get, no, I'm good. Okay. Fine. Thank you. Um, I used to smoke weed because I have really bad anxiety and I know people who it's helped their anxiety and it's made them sleep and all that stuff. Not for me. Like, weed is the scariest thing in the world to me. It terrifies me. And I literally am, like, petrified of everything. Someone will look at me, and I'm literally, like... So, yeah, no. I know it's really unfortunate. Because people love it, and people say it helps them so much, and it does not help me. I think about the craziest shit, and it just makes me afraid of my brain. Cool. It makes me really afraid of, of my brain. And I fainted one time on it. So, yeah. Weed is not for me. You smoked weed? I did. I tried to. I tried to. I used to have really... I just... I tried. I tried. Anything that would help my anxiety. I have crippling anxiety and it just made it worse for me. So, no more. What was the point of me bringing that up, though? I, I brought that up for a reason. I, I literally brought that up for a reason. I don't remember why I brought that up. Oh, right, the dream blunt rotation. Yes, thank you for that. Um, if I were to, though, I would love to be in a room with... Mm, that's really difficult. I'm going to have to think about that a lot. I think I'm going to say, first and foremost, Rihanna. Um, secondly... I've been watching Smartless on the road, uh, and I think that Jason Bateman is just the funniest person, so I, I think I would throw him in there. I don't know. I'm going to think about this more, and then I'll answer, guys. I'm going to say maybe, like, Matthew Gray Goobler. I'm going to say... I don't know. Okay, I'm going to think about it, and I'll get back to you. It's not right, it's not you, it's not right, it's not how we used to do. I'm trying to, I'm trying to read the chat. Oh. The most fun scene from the music video to shoot would have had to be the dinner scene because the dinner scene, I was fucking pissing myself laughing. So it was just so much fun. Are you a Pisces? I am a Pisces. F 
favorite Sabrina song? I have a few. I have many, but my favorites, I have a few. I love emails I can't send. I think it's beautiful and amazing and just vulnerable and gorgeous. Um, I bet you want to love me now. What's that one? I forget the name. I love that one. Um, and then I think it's Read Your Mind. I can't read your mind. Right? Yeah, I love that one too. Bet you wanna. Yeah, bet you wanna read your mind and emails I can't send. I love so much. Okay, I think, yes. Uh, do you believe in zodiac signs? Uh, yeah, a little. You need you need mods. I know. I'm I'm reading things that I'm. I agree with you. I do. I'll get that figured out. Oh, favorite Depeche Mode song? Enjoy the silence. Is that a basic answer? I'm sorry. I just love it. Um. Favorite food? I'm a big sushi girl. I love sushi. Does Lana have a favorite song on your album? Isn't that just ridiculous that I could even say she's listened to it? I, it's really wild, and I'm just she's she's just incredible. Um, and I could tell you guys the story about how we met if you want to hear it in depth. Um, she does her favorite song on my album is the first track. So when you listen to it, just remember. No more fun. I like your hair like that. Thank you. I just dyed it darker, and people online have very conflicting opinions about my hair. Some of them like my hair this dark. Some people like my hair much lighter. I personally, this is a little dark for me. I like it a shade lighter. But let me know what you think. Um, Okay, tell the story about how you met Lana. Okay, I will. So, this is a crazy story and it's still something that I don't know how to process or even just, it's, it's really wild. So, I will tell you. So I'm sitting at this restaurant called Earth Cafe. If you live in LA, you definitely know it. And if you don't, it's just a coffee shop, essentially, with food. I went in there and I was so just not trying to see anyone, which if also you know what Earth Cafe is, it's a very sceney place. So it's not where you go if you don't want to like not see people. I was just really in the mood for the mac and cheese that they have. So I went, I had a hoodie on, I had no makeup on. I had, I, I was just like not, I didn't want to see anyone. So I go into the corner of the restaurant and I'm sitting there eating with my back to the restaurant. Like the restaurant's here, no one can see my face. Um, I'm just, you know, really trying to be as low-key as possible, and these two women come up to me wearing masks, and one of them is like, hi, I, you know, wanted to introduce myself, whatever, whatever, and, you know, say that I love your music, and I think that you're awesome, and I'm just like, thank you so much, oh my goodness, that's so kind of you, and... She takes her fucking mask off and it's Lana Del Rey and I just dropped to the ground and literally was, I, I think I actually got on the floor and just looked, was looking up at her and I was like, I don't know what's going on and I don't know how to comprehend what's happening right now. And it was just, it was such a mind fuck for me and I just didn't know like what was, what was going on. And I was like, I was looking at God. I was like, am I dreaming? Am I alive? Am I alive? And she was so nice, and she was so gracious, and I just was in shock the entire fucking time. And I was like, how do you even know who I am? Why do you know who I am? 
what's going on? You're you like my music? You've listened to a song of my? She also like new songs off my album that are like deep cuts, and I was like, I was like, I I must I must be dead, and I must be dreaming. So, yeah, she was just incredible to me. And then we she like we've spoken and we've become like I consider her a friend of mine now, and it's so weird. And she's just. Do you have a photo? No, I didn't take a photo. Um, I just was like, I was too in shock to do anything. And I literally was with, <laughs> I walked down the street after we met. And I was like, it was so nice to meet you, love you. I got in the car and I screamed at the top of my lungs, like literally screamed in such a violent way. Like I think that the entire, she probably heard me, the entire block for like a three mile radius heard me. I was screaming at the top of my lungs. Um, and what year was this? This was like not even a year ago. It was the coolest thing ever and she just was so impressive and kind and cool and down to earth and yeah that was just unfucking believable i literally was like hyperventilating and she listened to my album that's coming out and she likes it or at least she says she likes it and it's just yeah it's really cool so i'll forever be in disbelief that Lana Del Rey knows that I am walking on this earth. It's crazy. I know, it's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna read more questions. <clears throat> Sorry my voice sounds so annoying. And again, like I'm going through puberty. I don't... I don't mean to. If you could only watch one movie for the rest of your life, which one would it be? I'm gonna let my chat answer this one for me all right commence commence the comments yep here they come here they come <laughs> oh it's like embarrassing a little bit like i'm like i'm a cringy person at least i'm self-aware you know <laughs> yeah fight club is the answer like what's wrong with me it's 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 it is it is a little like Find a new obsession, lady. Like, leave me alone. Find a new obsession. It's so, it's embarrassing at this point. Okay, anyways, moving on. Thank you to everyone who commented. Fight Club. I'm glad that you know me so well. Not like I've mentioned it in every interview since I saw it and wrote a fucking song about it. How would you describe your style? Lazy. I have a hard time wearing anything but sweatpants and a sweatshirt. Hard time. Like I have to put real brain power into wearing anything but this and I'm wearing sweatpants underneath like it's just what I makes me happy so yeah if you've ever met me you most likely met me and you can probably vouch for that but I'm gonna try because I have a lot of cute clothes I have a lot of really cute clothes that I never wear because I'm fucking lazy and I'm like I'm leaving the house why do I have to wear anything but a sweatshirt and sweatpants and usually like these are what's on my feet is literally slippers. Like that is how much I give a fuck. It's running very thin. Okay, hold on, please, one second. I need to find my lip liner that I think fell. Oh, it did, okay. We're gonna... Thank you. Okay, comfy clothes of the move. That's what I'm saying. And everyone who disagrees can kick rocks. Show feet again. I didn't even show my feet. They were slippers, you creep. <laughs> Relax. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna... What's the lip liner? It's Charlotte Tilbury Foxy Brown.
What else do I talk about, guys? Has this been boring? Has it been entertaining? Have you enjoyed it? Should I never do this again? Should I do it more frequently? What are our thoughts and, and feelings? Do it more frequently. Oh, okay. Play games next time. Okay, I will. I'm down. You gotta just let me know which games. And then I and then I will. We need to make up live. Okay, maybe next time I'm gonna do um I'm gonna do a makeup tutorial. Um Play Five Nights at Freddy's with the lights off. You got it. Anything for you. Um, Nathan Fielder or Bo... I can't even talk at this point. Nathan Fielder or Bo Burnham. That's like really just a fucked up question to ask. Um, I would say... They're very different, so I can't really pick between the two. I'm a huge fan of both, but I think that I could watch. I think that Bo is Bo is higher on my list, but Nathan is trailing close behind. But it's just different. Like Nathan doesn't really do like stand up comedy shows and like long form things. It's it's a little bit more like this meta kind of whatever okay the beach boys of the beatles i'm not talking to you whoever asked me that question um favorite career highlight so far selling out a tour it's just ridiculous and it's so cool and i just love i love performing i love going on tour so that has been the coolest thing i've ever done coolest thing i've ever done Will you ever do songs from your first EP on your tour? Who knows? You're going to have to wait and see. I don't know. Is Presley a good dog? Presley's a great dog. Except for, okay, the other night, he fucking peed on me. He peed right on me. Right on me. He just gets really, sometimes, he's a puppy still, so we, you know, it's okay. He gets really distracted when I take him out sometimes. E ew, yeah, I'm aware. I know. Mm -hmm. It was in my bed, too. So we took him outside, and, you know, we're like, Presley, go potty. Um, we also were, like, outside for an hour, so I just, I wasn't watching him the whole hour, and, you know, my backyard has grass, so I just assumed that he peed at some point. Apparently he didn't. He was too excited because there's people over and whatnot. So I bring him back inside. I get in bed, lay down. He walks up to me. He walks up to me with no hesitation and pisses on top, on top of me, my comforter, my fucking duvet sheet, whatever it's called. He, and it wasn't like a little like tinkle. It was a full blown piss, okay? And Someone said, I'm jealous. I have to go. I have to leave. Um, he peed on me. I shouldn't be saying, I shouldn't keep on saying he peed on me over and over again. I feel like this is just like asking to be clipped and used against me in a court of law. Um, he did. And the dog, my dog peed on me. I'm just going to say my dog. Mm, this is, it's getting so deep. And I was like, dude, what the fuck, man? I had you out for an hour. I let you out and, and, and it's just, and look at what you've done. And you know, of course I'm fucking ripping the sheet. Take unbuttoning the little bullshit thing that goes over your, whatever it's called, comforter. And I'm like ripping it out. I'm like oh, searching through my laundry to see if I even have another one. Who has like a million of those? Not me. I luckily had an extra one. I like sh I'm shoving it in there, trying as hard as I can. Presley's like sitting in the corner, just looking at me, and I'm just like, we're not talking right now. Like we're on, we're on bad terms, and I'm like, 
shoving the the comforter into the duvet cover. I think that's what all these things are called. And I just it was just horrible. It was just absolutely terrible. And that was that's my story. But other than that, he's a really good he's a really good dog. Usually complies with the rules. <laughs> Okay. Justice for Heartless. Heartless is a Heartless is great. Hello, Lucy from the flea market. I miss you. Lucy, love you. Love you so much. Um Trying to find more questions. Can you show us your PC setup? I don't know. I don't know really what everything is. My friend did it for me. This says GeForce RTX Arrow on it. I'm sorry. I don't know anything. I don't know where I am. Say it to my face, Dan's Rise Up. See, this is the one I'll come I'll fight with you for. I, will, I don't think I'll ever perform that song live. I'm sorry if that just broke some hearts. I don't think I ever will. I just don't like singing it. It hurts to sing. Yeah, it hurts to sing. Say it to my face. That's all you're ever going to get. Will you do more podcasts in the future? Yes, I will. Worst habit? My worst habit is... Um, I bite... So I bite my nails. <clears throat> and I have fake nails on. These aren't my real nails. And I still find a way to bite them. And I just... I'll do this. And I'll just like thin my fake nails out like who does that um but yeah I bite I bite my nails I grind my teeth a lot I clench a lot I have a lot of bad habits I feel biggest pet peeve where should I begin I have a lot of pet peeves people annoy me uh Wait, ugh, I'm trying to read this chat. You should put a nice green plant behind you in the corner on your desk. It would be a lovely addition to the setup. I love that idea, Grant. I just might. Maybe some flowers, maybe a candle. That sounds lovely. Thank you for the recommendation. Uh, justice for the old Madison necklace. Are you talking about the MB one, the circular one? That one was, I do this thing where I, I like a necklace and I don't take it off for six years. I've had this necklace on for two years now. I have not taken it off. A plant and some plushies. Guys, I have so many plushies. Should I really do that? I would love to put my plushies there. That'd be so cute. I have such cute ones. Oh my gosh. I have such cute ones. I have the best plushies. I have a little bat. I have apple juice. I have a lot of stuff and I could, I would love to put that there. Thank you. That's a good recommendation. So we're going to have a plant, a candle, some plushies. I'm gonna. Oh, we're gonna get into it next time. Next time I see you guys, it's gonna be top tier. Um, I so I recently, <laughs> my friend recently came over, and my friend has never been in my room before. And my room is where all of my plushies are, and there are there is a there is a lot of them. Plushies hall. You're speaking my language, absolutely. Um, and my friend was like. Are you joking? They were like, are you 12? Why do you have so many plushies in your room? 
of course, that led me to taking all of them and moving them downstairs and spreading them out. And they're not in my room anymore. So I'm so excited to put them in here. This is this is the place to go. You better do another stream this weekend. Okay, maybe I will. And I don't really know like what the best place to tell some of you people um, when I'm going live. But obviously, you can follow me on, on Twitch. But you can also follow me on whatever else you want to follow me on. And yeah, Twitter, Instagram, whatever it is. It's totally cool to have plushies in your room. I agree, but I am manipulated easy, I guess. And I moved them out of my room and now I'm gonna, it's just, you know what? It was a blessing in disguise because now they're gonna look great in here. And I'm actually really excited about that. My, you guys are gonna love mine. Mine are adorable and they're really great. Okay. Where's your Japanese eraser collection at? Oh, I have those. Like, if you guys really wanna see who the real me is, I got you. I'll show you my eraser collection that I've had since I was five. Yes, you heard me right. I'll show you my plushies. I will show you whatever else you wanna see. Can we see some hauls right now? Let's do it next time, cause I'm only gonna stay on here for another like 30 minutes. But I promise next time I'm going to have everything ready. I'm going to get really prepared because I didn't know you guys would want to see that. I don't know. I don't know. I've never done a Twitch stream, so I don't know what you guys want. And I just want to appease you. So, yeah, I'll do whatever you want. And you can also just tweet me and tell me what you want to see. And I will try to comply and what you want me to talk about. Today, I just wanted to answer questions and talk to you. Um, play Minecraft, play video games. Okay, we're gonna, next time, I'm gonna try to play a game. I'm gonna play Fall Guys, I think, so you can see how just like frustrated I get. Um, Fall Guys, plushie tour, makeup tutorial, eraser haul. Boom, we'll do that. You will rage. I know. I know that I will rage. I sit in bed and play, what's it called? Fall Guys on my, <laughs> well, that, that was just a live, you just see what goes on in my brain all the time. I'm saying something that I'm like, what? Um, I sit in my bed and I rage. I'm literally like screaming and throwing the fucking Nintendo at the wall. It's so enraging. I've never won. I've never even gotten close. Sounds like my kind of stream. Perfect, next time you'll just see me get really upset. <laughs> yeah, I get really fucking mad. It's incredibly frustrating to like play the game for hours and hours at a time and just never accomplish fucking anything. It sucks and it's every time I play. I never get anywhere, so. Your Wi-Fi is great for the first time. Thank you. I miss 2014 Madison. She was crazy in a fun way. You mean when I was 15? Yeah. No shit. <laughs> I'm sure I was crazy. I was like unhinged. Okay. You are now my favorite Twitch streamer? What? That feels crazy. I've literally wanted to do this for so long and I just have never done it. So I hope you guys liked this. <clears throat> hey. 
Haters leave. Are there people hating? I haven't seen anyone being being hateful. Are people being mean to me in the chat? I'm like reading people just shit on me, and I'm like, I haven't I haven't been seeing anyone be really mean. Just a few. Okay. I met you in Kansas City and I'm 5'3 and we're the exact same height. That is not true. <laughs> that is not true. You're not 5'3 if you were the same height as me. That is not true. <laughs> that is not true. Exposed. No. I mean, I don't care. I think I'd rather be 5'3. I feel like sometimes I'm I'm tall. Maybe I'm not. No, I'm not 5'3", though. That person is lying. I'm 5'8", and we were almost the same height. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I don't really care. Think whatever you want, man. Think whatever you want. I'll be whatever height you want me to be. Um... Okay, and it's been positive in the chat. I think it has been so positive in the chat. Um, does anyone have any more pressing questions for me? I'm, I'm not going, I'm not leaving right this second, but is there anything else that you really want to know? We can get serious. We can get lighthearted. You can, let's get into it. Whatever, whatever you, whatever you want to talk about. And now I'm going to stare at my screen and read it. Do you have any advice for really shy singers? Hi, Sarah. Um, honestly, like fake it till you make it. I'm like so nervous when I go on stage. On my tour, I wasn't as nervous, but like if I've ever done a festival or a late night, late night show, I get so, so nervous, so nervous. Um, so I just try to pretend, I know this sounds so dumb, but I try to pretend like I am not actually doing it and it's just a rehearsal. And then I usually do okay. But practice also, the more shows you do, the more you sing for people, the less nervous you'll be. And be confident, I'm sure you're amazing. <clears throat> when will you be streaming? On what days? I don't know, but I'll like, I'll, I'll post about it before I do. I, I don't know when I'm gonna do it. Uh, do you eat corn the long way? Like this? I eat it this way. Or I'll like cut it off. I don't know if that's a serious question. I don't know why I'm answering that question. <laughs> um, what is in your water bottle? Just some water with ice from last night, which is crazy to me. I know that's how these water bottles work, but it's still crazy to me. Sorry, I'm reading. How's the grief with your dog been? It's been really difficult. I've been trying to just be patient with myself and with all my feelings and emotions and uh, take it day by day and know that I tried everything I could. And for anyone who doesn't know, my puppy, my two-year-old puppy um, was diagnosed with leukemia and passed away in March. So yeah, it's been horrific and it's been a hard time accepting it and trying to move forward and you know thinking of all the experiences that we would have gone on to have together and it's been it's been really hard but I've been just trying to take it day by day and again know that I did everything I could and that he's not suffering and he's not sick anymore but it's just it's just been hell it's been hell yeah it's really unfortunate. Um, what is your biggest fear from being in the public eye? 
I don't know what my biggest fear is. I think that's something that I've been like super back and forth with since I started. I've just always, I don't know. I feel like I, like most of us, I want people to feel positive things when they interact with me or, you know, I want people to, yeah, have a positive experience in general. So I think it's been hard because I have dealt with a lot of hate online. I've felt, um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to really answer that question. Um, what's something that you feel like you can say that you've matured with? That's a cool question. I was actually just talking about this with someone recently, and I kind of, I think that we're all... We all have had cringy moments and I think that like everyone has had things that they probably wouldn't want on the internet and I know for sure I have a lot of those um, and I feel like I used to get really defensive and I used to get really upset um, which being upset is fine but I used to get really defensive and I used to get I used to go online and just want to defend myself and in wanting to defend myself I would get really angry and I would sort of be like, you know, passionately talking about it. And I think that would come across as really cringe to a lot of people. Um, and so now I kind of try not to be as defensive about things. I try to not respond if I'm in a, you know, feeling of attack. And I try to just be like, oh my God, I need to take a take the night. I don't want to even acknowledge this or respond to it right now. I'll respond tomorrow if it still feels like something I should respond to. But yeah, I don't really like to, I don't really like to go and like rage and, and get upset and I just, I don't know, I feel like people are always gonna find something to hate on me about. What am I gonna do? Uh, but yeah, I, I obviously, yeah, don't enjoy when people are super mean to me, like anyone else. Um... Okay, I'm still reading questions. What's been the best advice someone has given you? I don't I don't know that I can like pinpoint one piece of advice that someone's given me, but I think I can say that I mean, I've gotten a lot. I think something that's really stuck on me is like you can't die on a hill trying to make people, you know, like you or see you or whatever it is because there's always going to be people who frankly don't really give a shit and they don't want to and and I I just can't really I can't really spend all my time like begging people to want to get to know me or want to listen and what cuz it's, you know, there's people who want to and I and I'm happy with that and I you know, I hope that I don't know I don't know. I don't know what I hope. Would you want to be on the Eric Andre show? show of course. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I met you in Orange County and you were the cutest. Thank you. I love you. And I can confirm you're like 5'6". Thank you. I think I remember you. Your name is Nicola? Yeah. I swear I remember you. And I'm not just saying that. I actually think I genuinely remember you. Um, thank you. And I love you. And I am like 5'6". I swear. I'm like begging people. I'm, as I'm like, I don't really care if people don't believe me or don't want it. Like, I'm like begging people to believe that I'm 5'6". Um... Any advice for low self-image? I'm going through it. Well, hi, and I'm sorry to hear that you're going through that. Um, I would say take it easy on yourself. I, I'm so harsh on myself. Even when we were shooting the music video, I had like, you know, the person I was co-directing it with or some of the, you know, people who were on set, they could tell that I was like sort of painfully judging myself and I was holding the monitor and I'm sort of like putting you know my face at different angles and I, did, I didn't like anything and I didn't like the way that I looked and I was being so hard on myself and I was just like 
I look ugly. We're not using this shot. I fucking hate it. Whatever. I was just really upset. And uh, I don't know. I think it's just not fair to do to yourself. We're all just human beings. And I think that try to just be kinder to yourself. Um, yeah, I mean, looks are only skin deep. So be a good person, first and foremost. And love yourself. I know that sounds easier said than done. but And I... I struggle with it all the fucking time. Trust me, I'm so hard on myself. It's very difficult. But try to try to take it easy on yourself. And yeah, I don't know. Okay, that's all. Any advice for when someone is in their tw early 20s and feeling very lost in life? Um, first of all, for context, I don't I don't give advice thinking that I like know what I'm talking about. I just give you my like opinions on, um, you know, what I think is, I don't know, uh, helpful, I guess. Um, and I have been feeling so lost in life. Uh, not super recently I've been feeling a little bit better but I have been in so many different places where I've been like am I doing the wrong thing am I supposed to be doing something else is there am I on the right path am I letting you know I'm 24 did, did my you know teen years just get away from me and I I don't know what is making that noise Table? oh I was like what is that um and it's been so difficult to kind of like be like no I think everything is happening as it should and blah 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 and blah 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 and I don't want to bore you but yeah I think it's normal that's like the time that we're supposed to feel confused I feel like your early 20s are when you're supposed to be like what is going on <laughs> finally I'm mean, like where am I and what's happening so I think take it easy on yourself again like I have been I've stressed myself out so much and been like ah, I'll be 25 next year take it easy on yourself you are so well spoken and articulated. I'm gonna cry. Thank you. What the fuck? My goodness sorry I'm 25 is still young I'll be 27 this year don't worry exactly well I, I agree I think that like also your age is obviously relative to you and you're like we're all growing and we're all trying to figure it out and every year we all get older and it's like what's going on that's how I feel every year I'm like what's going on and how how do I keep just aging <laughs> um, and I'm like I'm I feel sometimes like I'm getting older and I'm like ah it scares me but then I meet people and they're like you're still so young but I've also I feel like lived so much life in my 12 years like I've been I don't know so I just get overwhelmed by the thought of all of it all the time it's constantly just in my head like oh my god time is ticking ah I'm afraid but I know that I'm still young I just get anxious and I'm, I just always find a reason to be anxious about stuff all the time but yeah also there's like you're never too old to do anything you're never there's, there's no like age limit on literally any part of life. So no matter how old you are, it doesn't matter. And you can be as young as old or whatever. Um, and you can do anything. So, yeah. Just watch your music video. It's so good. Thank you. I'm so glad that you liked it. Um... Call me, baby, I know you go home to another one. Say you hate me, 
It's okay, boy. You're not the only one. Your turn. Do you listen to Mitski? Of course. Of course. Sorry, I'm like shaking the whole table. Oh my god. <laughs> Earthquake! Okay. No, not actually. Not funny. Um... <laughs> Any more Rick and Morty references on Silence Between Songs? No, there are not. Where did you get the stickers from on your bottle? Um, I got them from Daiso. These are all from Daiso. Another We're still here. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to read the questions. Um, are you gonna have a remix of Home to Another One? Potentially. Do you know about drama on Twitch? I don't know anything. I don't know anything. I promise. I actually, I actually don't know anything. I don't know, like, drama involving me? No. I, I don't know anything. I don't know, like, about streamer drama, people who, like, I don't know. I don't know. So please just take it easy on me because I really have no idea about anything. And that's like speaking generally. Two old friends coincident on one and the other. Um I don't know. Hold on, sorry. One second, 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 one second. Can you get off now? I need to sleep and I don't want to miss anything. 10 minutes and I'm off, 10 minutes. You are a delicious seagull. Thank you very much. <laughs> I agree. Um, <laughs> two old friends. Mm -hmm. Okay. He did. We did. What actually is Vivo and why and how are they always involved with music videos? Can I tell you a big secret? I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know what Vivo is. You do. I don't. I don't know. I don't know at all. I just know that it's, I love Vivo. <laughs> Vivo is great, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But I did a Vivo like live performance thing. That's different because that's like its own thing. And that was fun and great. But like why everyone's, you know, channels is like blah, 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 Vivo. I don't, I don't know. I've never known the answer to that. But I do love Vivo and I love doing live performances with Vivo. So um, those are always fun. I did really fun ones last year. But I, but, but I don't know exactly what Vivo is. <laughs> Sorry, Vivo. They're going to be like, what the fuck? I love you, but I don't know. Um, thank you for all. Pete McFam. That was a very sweet comment. Thank you. Um... 
Okay. Sorry. I'm like zoned, zoned into this very hardcore. Speak French. You know, I don't speak French. I tried to. I downloaded Duolingo in the pandemic and I tried really hard and I don't speak French and I've actually tried to speak French a couple times on video and it's always backfired and people make fun of me. So no French. But yeah, new merch when? I'm gonna release some Home to Another One merch in the next couple of weeks, weeks, week, week or so. I don't know, I'm, I'm trying to get it finished right now and then I will release it. Drive is my favorite movie of all time. I wanna know if you've seen it. Is that the, I'm, I get so many names of movies mixed up. Is that the movie with the Kavinsky song in it? Night Call? Um, and Pacific Coast Highway, I think that that's that um, soundtrack. Yes, okay, cool, yeah, that, I, I have. Okay. Um, okay, I'm gonna answer a couple more and I'm gonna hop off at seven, it's 6.51. And I'll do this again if you guys liked this. Make sure that you follow me here on Twitch um, so you get, I think, a notification when I go live or you know on Twitter probably. I'm not always gonna post on my story when I go live, so probably Twitter and if you, yeah, or here. I think here is probably the best place to follow. Uh, this was a hella of a vibe. <laughs> Thank you. I tried. I, I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this. I mean, I didn't know what I was doing. I was scared. I came into this afraid. And this was fun. Honestly, I had a really fun time. And I'll do more interesting things next time. Like I will do, you know, the eraser thing. I'll, I'll do a makeup tutorial. I'll let you guys, maybe I'll do like a voting thing on Twitter. And I'll say like which one you guys want me to see. You can help me. We can build the plushie wall together. That'd be fun. We can decide what looks the best, you know? Um, and yeah, maybe I'll start using this, you know, for like exclusive announcements. I don't know, I could, I, we can see what, I don't know, I don't know. I don't wanna make any promises that I can't keep. But this was, this was really fun. I'm gonna stay for like five more minutes, so yeah. Okay, if anyone else has any questions. Did you like The Last of Us TV show? I loved it. Yeah, I loved it so much. Yes, can we get first album tea? Yeah, I think that could be fun to announce things here. What's your favorite Adventure Time character? It's my favorite show. It is one of my favorite shows ever. Um, I think Marshall Lee is my favorite character. Bimo is my another one of my favorite characters. Obviously Finn and Jake, but like Bimo is just so cute to me. So cute. I love Bimo. But Marshall Lee is just also is literally like Donald Glover, which is ridiculous and the coolest thing in the world. Um <laughs> Lemon Grab? Yes. I, don't, I can't even do it. I'm not gonna try to do his voice. Um, I love I love Adventure Time. I if you missed it, I have an Adventure Time tattoo. I have a Nidosphere tattoo. I've watched every episode a hundred times. What's your favorite cartoon ever? It might actually be Adventure Time. I think Rick and Morty is like neck and neck, but um, I think Adventure Time overall, and because it's finished, I think is. I'm gonna go with that. Someone put Spongebob rolling his eyes. Also Spongebob. Sorry. We did, we did. I love that um, Mar Marceline song. Daddy, why did you eat my food? 
Mm-mm-mm. I don't even remember the words. Well, you ate them. Yeah, you ate my fries. And I cried. But you didn't see me cry. Daddy, do you even love me? Yeah, I wish you show. Yes, I love that song. I'm glad people know what I'm talking about. What kind of daddy eats his daughter's fries and doesn't look her in the eyes? So good. Such a good song. <laughs> What's your favorite city to perform in? I have to say, on my tour, I have highlights. I always say Paris, and people get upset because everyone's like, enough talking about Paris. Paris was just incredible. Um, Paris, I loved. Munich, I loved. I loved all of my shows, but there's ones that were just some some magic was in the air. Um, those nights, you know, I remember in the U.S., um, Portland went crazy and was so cool. I remember. Ugh, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. There were so many that stood out, but yeah, I'll, I'll think about it. Chicago, Chicago was sick in Dallas I think it was Dallas I climbed like one of my light I have like a light rig and I climbed it because my brain told me to so I just did and everyone off my like off the side of the stage was looking at me like because I don't know that that is supposed to happen and uh yeah uh, I had a lot of fun on tour so I would love for everyone in this chat to come on my next one it's probably not going to be for some time but I would love for you to come back that was very fun. Terminal Five, of course, my hometown. I had I had a great a great time. Tour was so much fun. Fave Billie Eilish song. I love all of Billie's music, so I can't pick one song in particular. I literally love all of Billie's music. Um. Def going to a show. Thanks, Anthony. My shows are fun, I think. If you've been, you can tell me whether that you had fun or not, but um, I think they are so much fun, and I miss them so much. Would I ever sing a KDA song on tour? I don't even know if I'm allowed to, because they're not technically my songs, but probably. I think so. Favorite Adventure Time episode? Uh, hmm... Okay, not favorite Adventure Time episode, um, but I think that the chips and ice cream episode is really funny. I don't know why. I can, like, crack up watching that episode, and it's arguably one of the silliest ones. What is what is the little lemon grabs? Lemon Hope? I love anything with Lemon Hope in it. Lemon Hope is so strange and amazing. Um, Montreal, Montreal, yes. Marceline's backstory. I know that makes me like cry though with Simon. I can't do it. You guys know that the, I'm literally probably saying something, saying something that everyone knows, but the guy who voices Ice King is SpongeBob, I'm pretty sure. Isn't that so cool? I think that's really cool. That was exciting news when I heard it. Uh, Manchester was so good. Dude, I can't pick a favorite. I, I have so many, so many favorite shows. How was it being on Good Mythical Morning? I, finally, someone asks me about this. It was incredible. I've like dreamt of that day for years and it was so cool. And um, I'm such a fan of the show. So to be on it was just insane. And I actually was supposed to do a different segment with Rhett and Link, and I was the one who was like, no, I want to do a will it. I must. And of course I know what comes with those, and I knew that I was going to have to eat something probably gnarly, and I did. Yeah, and that was really fun. <laughs> do you watch reality TV shows like Love Island, Too Out to Handle, etc.? I've seen Love Island. I've seen a couple seasons. 
you know, again, that's one of those things that I was like, I'm not watching that. And then I started watching it and I was just like glued to my TV. And I'm like, oh my God, he's pulling her for a chat? Just like freaking out. Um, so yes, I do, I do, I do, yes. Love Island UK mainly though, is what I've watched. Um, all right, guys, I think it's my time. I love you all. This was so fun. And thank you so much for watching this. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, follow me on Twitch. And I will do this again, maybe this weekend, if you want me to. Let me know. And let me know what you want me to do. Uh, tweet me what you want me to do. And then maybe I'll do a poll on Twitter and we can all collectively decide what you want to see. I hope this wasn't too boring or stupid. I tried my best. I didn't know what I was doing. And I hope you liked it. And I love you. And thank you for your amazing questions. And thank you for the love. You've been very sweet and very fun. This has actually been a really enjoyable experience. I was scared that I was going to get like <laughs> ripped apart for some reason. So yeah, OK. Thank you, guys. Have a good rest of your night and or day, wherever you are. And I love you. And maybe I will see you again soon. My song, Home to Another One, is out now. The music video is out now. I am an alien at the end of it. So if you want to see me blue and alien-like, head over to the music video. And yeah. All right. I love you. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you.